I forgot to say something. Um, I was telling you about a phone call I got in Japan, from Japan, a friend of mine, um, who is there temporarily working. He gave me a call. I used to date this person years ago, back in my early, early 20s, and we hadn't spoken in a good 17, 18 years. So we found each other on Facebook, of all places, about a year and a half ago, and we've been communicating ever since. Anyway, he gave me a call. He's out in Japan right now working and I wanted to say hello to him. And of course, I'm not going to reveal his name or anything like that. But he's a very good friend. And um, can't wait to see you when you come to visit. Um, so anyway. Hi. But one other thing I wanted to say was, have you all seen the trailer for The Call? Holly Berry is... Uh, the star. She is the 911 operator who takes a call for a female who has been kidnapped and thrown into the back of a trunk. And supposedly they're running or speeding on down the freeway. This guy's crazy, blah, 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 blah. And she's trying to help. Well, this is what I have to say. This is what I have to say. Hallie, you probably will never see this, but Hallie, they got your wig on ridiculous. I've seen that wig. I think I have that wig in another color. Uh, I think I have it in gray because I used it for a skit one time. One of my characters that I, I have made up, I've um, created. I don't like that wig. You're, the, you've, you're so thin right now. There's nothing wrong with that. That the wig, the wig they've put on you is huge. It has you looking like a lollipop. Okay, the film is done. No big deal. Maybe now I'm thinking maybe that's the look they were going for. Oh, this kind of um, conservative, demure type, you know, character with this curly wig. I just don't like the way they did your wig. Is that wrong? I mean, already the movie's out, so it's like you, nothing you could really do about it now. I'm sure you made lots of money off it. I think you're an awesome actress. I don't like the way they did your wig. Um, the person who did your hair, I'm not an expert. I'm just saying I felt like they could have did better. I think they, st they still could have gone with that type of wig, but giving you more of a symmetrical cut, maybe a more coiffed look. I don't know. But I just saw that on TV as I was walking through the living room, and I said, what? Not Hallie. They didn't do Hallie like that. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I am really excited about seeing the movie. I'm going to, I can't wait till it comes out. Um, I think it comes out March 8th, 2013. Uh, once again, this is Nessa D on the revamp of V. Um, it's still March 2nd, 2013. I am uh, trying out this new powder real quickly. It's called Cover Effects. And it is a foundation powder. And it, I'm using it in, it's probably going to be backwards on here, huh? Because I think it's going to be backwards. But it's Cover FX. Got it from Sephora in color N100. Color N100. That's the color. I haven't done any um, concealer or color around my neck area. Um, at all because this is what usually is showing when I'm outside. I'm outside a lot in the sun so as you can see I have a lot of color, you know, non-color here and color here like in the V. I wear a lot of V's and so I get a lot of sun that way and of course on my arms and hands and I do wear sunscreen. Not all the time but I do. So I'm just trying this Cover FX um, powder and I'm not wearing any concealer or any um, foundation with it. I just put a little bit of it on. to cover up some of the discoloration that I have on my skin. And um, like see here. I didn't put anything on here or here. So but that's hereditary. But anyway, I like it so far. And after a little while, it doesn't oil up as much as I thought it would. Okay, that's it.